No, you sound great. Cat guy! Since we started this project, my mom and dad have always insisted that we needed to have safety as our number one priority. And a big part of that was installing three-point seatbelts. Okay, so today we are putting in our three-point seatbelt that I bought from Retro Belt. It's not super complicated. We are using some of the exact same bolt holes that we had from before and drilling a few new ones and we get to weld. First, we're gonna see if the new bolts fit into the old bolt holes. So there are two holes that we're going to use from our old seat belts, which were lap belts. We have this hole, which is, uh, which was originally for the latch and this hole, which was for the buckle. We're going to use this hole for the latch, but instead of using this hole for the buckle, we're going to use it for our extractor, and we're going to draw a new hole for the buckle. But we have a slight problem. This is one of the new bolts, and we know that the threading is the exact same as the old, so it should fit in here. Unfortunately, when we put it in, it only goes a little ways, and then it stops, and you can't thread it in anymore. So we know that it's a problem with the threads, in the car and not our bolts. So we got a tap, which is 7 16 20, which whatever that means, and we're going to use it to hopefully recut the threads so that we can just put our new bolt in. There you go. That looks pretty good. We're just gonna turn it nice and slow and hopefully this will work. How's it feeling? Um, I have no clue. Okay, it's still moving. Okay, so... I think a little bit more. A little, cool, go for it. I mean, I've never done this before. I mean, I wonder if at some point it's just gonna become easy. That's what I think. Yeah, because it's becoming easier. Oh, nice. At this point, I'm kind of cleaning, basically. So it's it's gotten easier? Yeah, it's super easy you now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I just give it a slight lift. Uh huh. You can see all the stuff that came out. Oh, nice. Now you want to try to put the, see if uh, our bolt goes in there now? Let's hope it does. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Otherwise, I don't know what to do. Okay. Okay. You did it! Way to go! Cool! Okay, so now that I fixed all the holes, which feels really good to say, um, we're going to start on the driver's side and position the seat belts, but to do that, we have to put the bench in, which is going to be so good because we haven't had it in for like a few months. Months? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, put it on the edge. And... Magical. Here. I see the bolt, so move this way. Yeah. Okay, there it's we go. In. I'm in. in. I'm in too. Ah, it looks so good. How's it feel to be sitting in your car again? <sighs> Finally. Okay, so we figured out where we're going to put the retractor. We're going to put it right here on an L bracket. The pinch right now is all the way back. I sit with it all the way forward because I'm quite a short person. So, um,. So we're putting it here, it, even if it could go up further, because just in case someone else drives the car or it ever needs to be scooted backwards to its full position, it's possible and the retractor won't be in that way. Like it's jumping. Okay, well just uh, try to give it just one good solid smack, you know what I mean? Give it like a little tap and then hit. Okay, cool. Hi, Ellie. Hi. Oh, 
perfect. We are going to install the last thing we do before we get to weld. Very exciting. This is the base of the buckle side of the belt. We're going to put it into the pre-existing hole that was already here that we cleaned out and that fixed. I'm going to put it on using one of our new bolts and two spacers because otherwise when you put it in, if I can find the hole, am I right? Down just a little bit and to your right. There you go. There we go. <laughs> Otherwise, it's pressed all the way up against the metal, and we need to kind of be able to move it, move it, and it would just like rub really bad. So we're gonna put in the spacer so that it all works really nicely. So for all of these bolts, we're not putting any thread locker on them because to put in carpet and a few other things, um, we are going to have to take the seat belt out. So this is mainly just to have all of the holes and make sure that the seat belts work properly and making sure it fits nicely on my shoulder because I'm short. <laughs> so I'm putting the latch mechanism through so that we can bolt this down so that once I'm done with everything, I can actually buckle myself in, which is gonna be so cool. All right, push around through. Oh, I see it. <laughs> Yes, because I can't. Uh, I don't know if I can. Ah! Do we have any pliers? I think there's some. might be some pair of pliers up there on the floorboard. Oh, this is really comfy. Dad, this is the most comfortable thing we've done in a while. Here. Thank you. I get to lay on my bench. Oh, okay, got it. Okay. Whoa! Ah! Dad, you didn't have to be so aggressive! Oh my goodness. <gasps> so responsible. I think good. it's good. Alright. Wait, that blows! So now we're gonna put the retractor in. Once it's snug a little bit, you can get it propped up right. Is that upright? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Retractor! <sighs> let's measure let's see how it feels. I need a popsicle. Let's get a popsicle and you can sit in the seat. Okay. So we have the shoulder belt bracket temporarily installed and I'm going to screw this in and then we'll see how it fits. All right, you ready to try it out? Yes. Give it a shot. <laughs> How's it feel? position but retro belts gives you a diagram of where your seat belt should be placed and it should be six inches above your shoulder and back unfortunately where we have it right now is a, a few inches above that area so we're gonna move it to fit retro belts specifications <laughs> Need to go just a little bit. That looks, that's the perfect size. <gasps> like seriously, like this is me trying to move it up and down. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so for welding, you need to have it on good metal. So we're just gonna grind down this area to see if this is the exposed metal, or if there's paint on it, and just make sure that it's nice and clean so that we can weld on it. Wow, oh, that took forever! Okay, so we're ready to go. We're just gonna put a few tack welds on the plate and then take off the clamp. Excellent, 
That looks good. <laughs> that looks real good. Okay, sweetheart, go ahead. Okay, so that's pretty good for my first time doing this. So now we're just gonna take the grinder and grind it all down flat. So it looks pretty good for my first time welding. Um, now all we have to do is put the cover plate on, drill a hole, and then we'll do the final reveal. Oh, that is great. Look how you lined it up. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so we have a few more final fitment things to do, like this is a little loose, but for right now, this is it. Does it feel good? How's the height? It looks great. Feels perfect. Goodbye! It was so cool to buckle myself in the front with three-point seatbelts. I've been waiting to put these seatbelts in for ever since I think this pandemic started. So I've been waiting for this forever. After the video, we also put in the three-point seatbelt for the passenger side and drilled holes so that we can move the old lap belts that were in the front to the back so four people can drive in my car with some kind of seatbelt. So my family can all drive in Carl. What I'm taking out of the garage this week is that being safe is better than being stuck. Special thanks as always to my executive producers, The Bowling Family and Drew Carter. If you want to support me, go to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash Ellie's Garage. I'll see you next time in the garage. Uh. Anytime. Oh my god. Oh my god. Multitasking. <laughs> <laughs>